Brooklyn Heights. The blacks and the Jews are having trouble there. What do you think? What can solve this problem? I think they should all listen to uh, We Are the World and hold hands and just, you know, and hug. A call for peace from John Stamos. Thank Upper you. Sandusky. Right. Upper Thank Sandusky, you. you're Thank on you. the air. Yeah, yeah, looky here. Uh, I am a proud African American. Yes. Right on. Now, now, now John, yes. you, you wake on a show called Full House. Right. Now, is that house too full for a black man? Is that, uh, now what about that? What about the notion that there are no blacks on Full House? Now, if you watch, you see we have a new character this season, a little kid named, uh, is Taj is his real, knife, real name in life, and he is a black boy. Hamtramck, Michigan, you're on the air. Hi, Larry. Yes. And John. Yes. Hi, I, I'm Gay, and I just want to say, John, you're really handsome. Uh, you uh, say that to all the ex teen Your luxuriant hair and your olive skin. Yes. What's your question for John Stamos? Yeah, what is sir? your question for me? Yes. John? Yes. Are you hung like the Acropolis, or is there a Greek tragedy between your legs? <laughs> Are you hung like the Acropolis, or is there a Greek tragedy between your legs? John Stamos. Well, you're from Washington. You've seen the monument out there, haven't you? <laughs> do me, do us a favor. Stand up so we can look at the bulge in your well, pants. Okay. You don't, go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Blackie. Here it is. Blackie. <laughs> Blackie. Why do you think they call me Blackie on that show? Altoona. Go ahead for John Stamos. Altoona. Altoona. Hello? Blackie. Hello? Yes. Hello. Hi. Hi, Altoona. Hi, I'm, I'm Just... calling to say that I'm a big John Stamos fan, and I think that he is adorable. How old are you? Thank you. I'm 25. Good, good. Do you find me attractive, Larry King? Well, I'm really calling for John. Yes, but right. do you find me, Larry King, attractive? attractive? <laughs> I, I don't know, I suppose. You do? Right. Did I tell you that I love you? <laughs> Cupid has smitten me right through the phone. We are like two worlds colliding. Tell me, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Can you come down? <laughs> it's my mother. All right, John, Will do you, you, believe, do you believe in love at first sight? Sure. You do, don't yeah. you? Yeah. When you I fell in love with you, Larry, since yes. I've seen no, you. No, you've fallen in love with the beautiful Paula Abdul. Hey, there you go. Hey, you've been love? doing your research. Was that love at first sight? Sure. It was. Is that, let me, let me just touch. Does that arouse you at all? Let's see, if it gets, let's see if it gets bigger if I rub it. Can you come down here right now, sweetheart? Oh, yes. Yeah. You could come down here now. Can she come oh, down yes, now? Larry. All right, why don't you come down now and we'll meet you. All right. How far is El Tuna? John, uh, not too far, El Tuna. <laughs> is that uh, Mexican fish or something? I don't normally El ask. El Tuna? No, John Stamos. I don't normally ask. I would never think of saying to a guest if you would do this, but would you mind when this girl gets here ducking underneath behind this desk? What am I going to do down there? No, well, I'm, I'm falling in love. And you're a good-looking man, and I don't need the competition. Let's dance. You don't mind. Can just we go dance? No, can we go, slow go dance under this fast? desk. Oh, now? Here she is. Come in. Get under the desk. Okay. Get under the I'll just be down here if you need me. All right. Here we go. Wow. Hi, Larry. Hubba hubba. Wow. Hi. How are you? Very nice to meet nice you. You're the girl who you. called in. Yeah. What is this? What is this Indian vest? Well, I'll take it off if you don't like wow, it. Wow. I love that. Wow. You are a beautiful young lady. Thank you. You are a beautiful young lady. Do you believe in star-crossed lovers? Um, not really. What side are you? Virgo. Perfect. Perfect. Just my type. I would like to propose to you on my show. Well, I think you're I a just, very beautiful woman. I What's your name? Called. What is your name? Amy. Amy. I just called. I just wanted to be interested. First of all, would you like to be engaged? Uh, Pick no, a ring. <laughs> Pick any engagement ring you want. Um, huh? We'll see I, you next I, time I, on Larry King. My right? thanks called. to my guest, John Stamos. <laughs> Pick a ring. Go ahead. I just called. I just want to be interviewed. Pick a, Pick a ring. Pick a ring. Do I really have to? Go ahead. John Stamos. I like that one. Blackie. Blackie. <laughs> Beyonce. Amy. Hi, this is Larry King. We're back on the air with John Stamos, formerly Blackie on General Hospital. Blackie. I'm Larry King, and this is my fiance, Amy. Amy. Isn't she great? General Hospital. By the way, watch John Stamos as he's captive tomorrow night on ABC TV. You gotta right. be excited, John, because that's gonna be great. You'll be able to get engaged to a lot of different women after this, this movie that you're doing captive. Captive. To me, I see everything as ways to get engaged to different women. Engaged. I love to be engaged. Ah, amour. We have a special phone for Blackie, a special phone call from Los Angeles, California. Is this Paul Abdul? Yes, it is. Wow, Paul Abdul, everyone. Wow, ladies and gentlemen.
Isn't that nice? Now the two of you are. Yeah, you know this <laughs> kid's kind of DJ Howard Stern that was kind of saying yes. some bad things about her and stuff. Yes. And, and, and he got on the radio He's, today. Howard Stern is a schmuck to say right. anything bad about Paula. And he was sorry, wasn't he? Paula, how do we prove to the people that it's really you and not Billy West on the phone? How can I prove it? Please. How can you prove it? Sing a little of straight up, please. <laughs> please for our audience, a little bit. One line from it, please. How, how, could you tap dance? Please? I'll dance. Yeah, I'll tap dance on the phone. Can you tap dance? Yeah, I can tap dance on the phone. What can you tell us that no one would know? Only Paula Abdul would know it. Only Paula Abdul could know this. Tell her how much you hate Howard Stern. How much do you hate that Howard Stern? I don't hate anyone. Well, you should hate him. He's obnoxious. <laughs> He's a bum. Let me ask you this. The two of you, are you still in love? I always loved John. He's my buddy. I'll always love Paul. You two kids buddy. are so cute together. I swear to God. We ought to just do a road show of deliverance or something like a like a dance. No, Greece. Greece. Oh, that's what we're gonna do. We're the gonna... thought of the two of you so beautiful, each one perfect. Wouldn't it be perfect to watch them make love? You two should make an X-rated video together. Would you? Did the two of you ever make an X-rated video together? John Stamos, first. Blackie from General Hospital. Would you two ever consider doing something like that, where all of America could see two beautiful young couples making love? Paula, <laughs> would you ever consider doing an X-rated movie? No way. No way at all. Not even with John Stamos, formerly Blackie. Formerly Blackie. <laughs> he thinks I'm Rob Lowe or something. Would you? You would never do that, would you? Of course not. We did, but we wouldn't do it again. It's so wonderful to have you on the air with us, Paula Abdul. Thank Can you believe John plays a rapist in his new movie? It's pretty exciting. You're not going to believe it. He's excellent in this movie. The two of you didn't practice for that, did you? No, he did that all on his own. Did the two of you ever get into any spanking? <laughs> <laughs> have the two of you ever spanked each other? Thank you in a minute. I want to thank Paul Abdul for joining me and Blackie, John Stamos, <laughs> Uncle Jesse. Hey, Blackie. What? Have fun. I just, I just had to beg Paul Abdul hey. for an hour to come on here. Thank you for coming on here. How hey, was Paul, I, all right? Now, listen not this show what kind of person she is to come on after all the things you've said about her on the radio? I didn't say anything about her on the radio. That was Howard Stern who said stuff about you, Paula. I, and I think he's a schmuck. Uh, no, I, I know Howard Stern secretly loves me to death. Howard, let me tell you something. I know Howard Stern. Right. And he not only loves you, but would love to sleep with you and give you the pleasures that even John Stamos can't deliver. <laughs> <laughs> Ease up, boy. Very fast. Let me tell you that. If Howard Stern made love to you, Paul Abdul, you would be in such ecstasy. Oh, really? You would, you would, you, you, you would, you would have a million orgasms. God. A million orgasms. I swear to God. How many orgasms could you give a girl? John Stamos. Blackie. Blackie. How many could you give? That... How many times in one night can you have sex with a girl? Have you ever had sex with that nose? Yes. I mean, honestly. Yes, I have. have? Yes. Let me have that. Can I take that home? Hey, Amy, shut up. <laughs> Amy Lynn, shut up, please. I want to thank Paul Abdul. Wow, I can't believe you pulled that off. Can you believe it? You I just can't hung believe up on her. I can't believe you hung up on her. <laughs> what about the fact that you have been celibate for the last three months? Is that really true, Blackie? Well, we have to go talk about that. No, come on, seriously. Is that true that you've been celibate? Uh, Maybe I... Is this working? What can you do when you're celibate? Are you allowed to be by yourself? Have we shown a clip from Captive yet? Here's a clip from Captive, John Stamos' new movie. You won't recognize him. He looks so angry because he's about to rape. <laughs> All right. But she's happy. <laughs> Come here. Don't do it. <laughs> Me? Where's Alan Thick? Let me just say something. John Stamos, that's a marvelous clip. I've Thank never you. seen better acting, Thank except you. from Amy during this sketch. <laughs> Amy, do you mind taking off your vest again for John Stamos, Blackie? Please, take off your vest. One more time, please. My friend's here. Please, please, take off your vest.